So I have one clip before we log off so, that I wanted to share, and this is um, metal related. So I'm going to change our our view, made our view no a little diff- bit. But um, here we go. I'm going to start this over. So, so this is from, uh, and actually the reason I I pulled this clip is I talked to Nikki Stringfield about it a while back, and I went, you know what, we should cover that on the show. So basically to set this up. Mythbusters did this bit where they experimented with plants and like whether or not talking to plants or playing music for them helps them grow. And that's where the metal part comes in. So I'm just going to play this and then we can uh, we can comment. It's about three minute. Clip. You know what I'd like to try is music. They say classical music makes your plants grow better, but we should mix it up. I'll get some heavy metal and classical and see which one. Yeah, I like the way this guy thinks. Sounds good to me. They're going to build seven self-contained greenhouses. It's actually probably a control will have silence. It's actually probably good we're doing this at the end because that way if our stream gets cut off for copyright, you know, we already did the interview. So. Sure. Okay. <laughs> we'll have 24-hour heavy metal music, another classical. Two will be fed sweet talk, and the last two will get abuse. At Greenhouse Central, only the control house has had silence. For the rest, four weeks of constant rotation CDs and cajoling to test if plants grow better if they're talked to. I, I love that constant rotation CDs. Like they didn't have streaming back then or MP3s. Well, what and what does he mean by cajoling? That's a good question. I mean, maybe <laughs> moving, maybe prop, like moving the pots around, moving the plants around a little bit, I'm guessing. Need to grow real big. We got the state fair coming up in about a month. You guys look like <laughs> champs. All right. <laughs> Here's our guy. <laughs> okay. Sorry to keep interrupting, but screaming at plants might be a cool band. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Jamie Joss is in there like, you will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing Strangely so enough, halfway through the experiment, trends are emerging. My sweet words must have an enormous effect on my plants because these plants are growing much better than my nasty plants. This guy here is huge. Quick aside, that chick did a swimsuit shoot or like an FHM shoot that was pretty hot. He's got little arms reaching out, grabbing on. So far, talking nice is actually working, and I, I hate to say it, Scotty might be proving me wrong. Talking nicely to plants, making them grow better. Is Carrie losing her mind? Oh, lovely morning to all you bees. Yes, she is. Yes. yes. Bees in there. Oh, I love you. Yeah, bees. why is she wearing a glove? Why didn't she just paint the thing on her actual hand? I'm worried about all of us. <laughs> they know. <laughs> They know how I feel. I think we need some psychological evaluation. Now for the hard data. Does talking to plants The hard data. So this is the classical music. Classical music. Turns out, not as well as playing them music. Wow! Dude! Right? Those look like very healthy plants. <laughs> They're bop. All I hear this bop, bop. <laughs> Number seven. The Metal House was the best performer of all. How many beat buds? But in both music houses, the plants were healthier, taller, and had the biggest peas. My God, metal is huge. These plants are enormous compared to everything else. I think, I think heavy metal rolls. I think heavy metal. Totally rule. 16 There you go. Heavy metal plants. Okay. I don't know if they mentioned it in the episode there, but I would love to know the playlist. Yeah, yeah. Like, what bands did they play for that? You know, what CDs were in rotation or whatever? Totally. Because the background, the, like, stock music they played was pretty heavy. There's, like, a lot of double kick in it. It was that grid music we were just talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Now, what's funny, I... I read a book. It was like put out by these uh, like super conservative Christians. It was like about the dangers of rock and roll or whatever. And I read it. I read it. 
partly because I just wanted to see what they said and partly because I wanted to laugh. But they were saying the opposite. Like there was was studies done like in the 80s or whatever, and the classical music helped the plants grow healthier and better than the metal. So I don't know if they had an agenda or what, but um, there you go. I think their study was funded by... uh, by Probably. Big classical or something. (laughs) Classical music industry. Yeah. I mean, I listen to metal and I keep growing, so it must work. Yeah. I mean, the more I think about it, like people who listen to a lot of metal are usually big dudes. <laughs> it works. So it makes I sense. I tell my kids, hey, problem. you want to you grow faster, just listen to metal. Eat your veggies and listen to your Metallica. Yep. 